Hello everybody. I wanted to make a quick video to show you how if you begin taking all of your notes in a nice organized way and preparing for the end of the semester, the final exam since day one, you'll actually be able to save yourself a lot of study time as well as stress throughout the semester. And it'll help make the classes, whatever class, my class, uh, any other class that you're taking, it'll help everything make more sense. And it's actually a technique that I've used when I was studying through undergraduate school and through graduate school when I was working through some very very difficult materials. It's even something that I've used in a professional workplace. So let me show you real quick. So what I learned quite a bit ago was that notebooks were actually not the best thing to be using when you're taking notes. And th as a quick example, how many of you have ever taken uh, notes in a notebook and you get to the end of the semester and you run out of paper? Right, you've, you've filled up the notebook, and so now you've got to maybe start another notebook. But you know that that doesn't feel right. That feels weird. Or how many of you have lost track of your notebook? Or how many of you rewrite your notes, which is a fantastic technique, going back through and rewriting your notes. Then you've got to tear out the paper, or maybe you're writing all of your homework assignments in that, and you've got to rip it out, and you get the frills on the side. Notebooks really aren't all of that great. So what I use is actually I use binders. So I've got a binder here, just as an example, and you can see it's one that I actually used when I was taking an abstract algebra course. A uh, high level math class, but it, it worked quite well. And this is what I actually would keep all of my notes in. So I would just take some, some nice standard kind of paper that I could grab from the convenience store down the way and get huge packs of it for a few dollars. And I would just fit those into the three ring binder. But even more than that, I would actually use this as a way of being able to keep all of my documents that I received through the class organized, whether they were handouts from my teacher, whether they were printoffs that I had online, I'd put them all into the binder. And there's a couple of really nice advantages to this. Um, first, one thing you can do is you can always start off the binder the right way. So you can look up at the top here. This I've got the, the name of the class that I've got. I've got the instructor that I had at that time. I would also put down uh, his contact information, except that I already had, had this instructor. I already knew where the contact information was, but I actually would then start to organize in the first page, making this into a table of contents. And I wouldn't write it all at once, but I just dedicate an entire page here. And then as I was learning new things throughout the class, I would make a title line. So I would say something like, okay, well on the first page of my notes I have, and I would write a topic for that. We'll get into that in a little bit here. And then throughout this, I would just continue to write the notes. I wouldn't have to carry the binder. I could just carry some loose leaf paper around and then put it in the binder when I got back. But I could begin talking, or I could begin writing through all of my notes. And these were my notes that I would actually clean up uh, once I got back to my dorm room or once I got back to my house. But I would start off all the time with putting a little bit of a title on, on the paper and then writing down what I could from lecture. But then I would bring that home and I would actually rewrite my notes on a another piece of paper. And then I could make sure that I was keeping everything nice and well organized. I could take time to make my notes clean. I could look things up in my book if I wanted to add more details to what I had written down. And so this is actually what the notes would look like after I had cleaned them up. And I would always try to summarize at the top the topic that this page refers to. So here, this wasn't something that, that was the title of the chapter. This was the title of what I had written down on these notes. And then I would give it a little page number. And then what I could do is in that effort of me cleaning up my notes, making them look nice and pretty and trying to summarize them in just one line, that's what I would put back into this table of contents that I would make. And so I would do this throughout the entire semester. I'd go to class, I would take notes, I'd come back home, I would make those notes look pretty, I would try to summarize it into one line on the very top, and then I would take that one line at the very top, and I'd put that into the table of contents that I was creating at the very beginning. Now, why did I go through all this work? Well, for a number of different reasons. One, it made it so that this binder here became the, the collection of not things we had gone through as a class, but things that I understood. If I didn't understand things, Things, I worked to make sense of them before they went in the binder. And if I didn't understand them, they didn't go in the binder quite yet. And so that helped me keep track of how much work I had to do and whether or not I had to bring some questions to office hours to ask my instructor, or if I had to go ask some more questions from uh, you know, the internet or wherever it was that I was gonna be researching up. In taking all of these notes and rewriting them, that was also forcing me to be putting them into my own words. Cause that's really the important thing about writing notes. It's not about putting 
information on paper. It's about speaking to your future self. And that's really with the final exam in mind. So when I was going through examples in class, if I was copying them down for myself, I would write them in my own words, or I would try to add my own words on top of what the teacher's words had been so that I could have both what the teacher was explaining it as and how I best understood it as. And then I would also be writing myself notes. Again, these are notes for you. These are not anything you're giving to anybody. Uh, they're just for you to prepare for your future self. So then I would also be putting in here all of my homework. So you can actually see that because it's in this binder, I would actually be able to take my homework. Let me find a good example. Here we go. Here's an example of my homework here. And I would work through the homework and then I would actually be able to go through and make all of my adjustments to the homework. You can see some notes that I would add on the other side of the paper. And so the nice thing about doing that is that I was able to speak to my future self and remind future Kevin, who was preparing for a final exam, that past Kevin always had been making these types of mistakes and I should now look out for those. So this is something that I would do is as I was writing down my notes and as I was making things look pretty, I would be writing notes to myself that literally said like, hey, yo, you've made this mistake five times knock it off. And then as I was reviewing my notes for the final exam, I would see those notes and go, that's right. That was always giving me difficulty. I need to make sure that I am remembering the difficulty I used to have with this because it's been a while. After all, when we get to the final exam, we're going to be testing material that was covered months ago. So it's nice to be able to speak to your future self through your notes here. So that's the recommendation that I have. And in this class, uh, possibly, should you should have some skeleton notes. If not, ask me and I might be able to point you towards a resource that does have these. But you can, of course, print those off and put those into this binder and just continue to make this really uh, a, kind of a, a sacred place for your thoughts. Put a really good, well-written, well-organized notes into the binder. Add lots of paper here. If you at any point are confused about something, make sure you're bringing questions to office hours so you can add those details as well. Well, uh, and then really just kind of anchoring this through so this becomes your one-stop shop. And the nice thing about having that table of contents that you're working towards is that as you are studying for your tests, you will be able to constantly review this entire storyline that you've gone through in the class and remember the big overarching concepts. It also makes it so you don't have to spend so much time doing your homework when you know exactly where in your notes each of those topics were that you covered. You can flip to them quickly and use them and they're right there in your own words. It's a really nice method.